thanks to Larry Summers and his and brilliance of uh, putting these uh, qu credit default swaps and uh, other uh, you know instruments, complicated financial instruments that basically sold worthless garbage. It reminds me of uh, uh, what was the guy uh, Milken? You know, <laughs> same yeah. thing. It's the same thing. You know, like and then you get these like made off, and everyone's like made off, made off, and you know, like he's just a made off. It's like is like a little pea. In this whole, oh yeah, he's just like a little puppet. It's not a puppet. It's worse. He's a little pea. It's like even what he, yeah. even his his impact is as much as he's destroyed. These others, this other fraud is going to put so many people into such horrible positions because they're going after the pensions and they're going after the four hundred one ks and they're going to get them, and they're going to get them and they're going to say you know pay us or or else, you know and uh, that's my that's my personal prediction, and I think once they start attacking the pension funds. Uh, that's when people are going to really start to, to really wake up and uh, get angry, like really angry. And all of these police state things, like the 800 FEMA camps and all of these drills like they're doing, these urban warfare drills like they did in Colorado last week, um, and all these other uh, type things are all being put in place. These terror drills, these, you know, where do they bring the people, you know, they, they did these drills where uh, they go to, into the schools, they take the children out of the schools, and they bring them all to a, to like a, you know, like a, a stadium. <laughs> you, know? you know what has me worried is all these converted prisons being turned into yes. FEMA camps at a yes. ra rapid rate. There's 800 of them, bro. Yeah. 800. Yeah. And rapidly. Yes, rapidly. And um, it's just, um, it's just very, there's just a lot of, uh, a lot of activity going on. That is 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 troublesome. It really is troublesome. Uh, yeah. You know, I was uh, watching CNN, oddly enough, and they had a special on Warren Jeffs. You know who he is, right? Sure. Yeah. And they were talking about like how he was a child molester and all that, and then they started talking about how four hundred and one children were taken by CPS. Well, isn't that far worse? I mean, okay, yeah, Warren Jeffs was a pedophile, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. But the majority of the children there. Um, were were not mistreated. They were not being harmed, you know. But yet CPS comes in, takes these kids, unlawfully, mind you, four hundred and one of them, and just places them all over America mm -hmm. in foster homes. So we, and you know, you know what the new world order does? They take these kids. Dimax. They pass. Yeah. Yeah. Dimax Corporation. Yes. Yes. The CIA brings them and they sell them into sex slavery. I certainly do, sir. I, don't, I mean, I see. That's what's interesting. We can go in any direction. Let's keep going this way. This is people will not believe this. This is just. This was one of the harder ones for me to believe, that they're actually satanic ritual uh, abuse uh, of children for these elite scumbags, so that they can. Kathy O'Brien is a it's prime just, example. I can't believe. I get like tears. I swear to God, my my eyes are welling up, bro. It's just it's the sick, most sickening thing about this, and I don't. I didn't even know I would when I would be able to talk about it, and you just brought it up, so let's go. Yeah, and it's happening, and people think it's happening, you know, oh. just in, like, you know... It's not third countries. world. It's not It's not in China and Bangkok. It's right here in America. Look on the... It's in your town. You look know? Right, look on the town. goddamn milk box. Where do you think yep. these children went? It's horrible, and you catch them. Google it. You don't believe me, folks? Google Dimax... Uh, Child kidnapping, sex slavery, it'll be, they'll get a, a million references, Reuters, a, uh, everything, everything. It's all over the news, but no one talks about it. The year 2000, a Democratic National Convention in New York, uh, there was a 40% increase in abducted and missing children for that weekend. 40%. Oh my God. Where did those children go? Yeah, and they say it's because these pedophiles, these bad people come in. And that's true. We're, I'm not saying that there are not pedophiles out there that are doing this evil and, and they're taking these kids and killing them. But a lot of them are never found and they just disappear. And that's, mm -hmm. that's what happens to them. That's where they go. I always wondered, where do they go? How, where do these kids, they must be dead. Where do they grow up and they come back 20 years later, like My Name is Steven, that movie? You know, yeah, that does happen. Yeah. That does happen. But a lot of these kids that are never found are sold into sex slavery. And not only that, but there's a, there, there is possibly a connection between them 
uh, where they go and deep underground military bases. That's right. That's those are the DUMBS. Yeah, the D U M B S. Yeah. yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. And, and again, these elitists, we know what they do, man. This is crazy shit. You can like, you can. It's just unbelievable. They they love, they they they. they I, I, you can't even. Their their tastes are just again. They're they don't feel that they're even like they're different. They're above us. They're they're better than human. To them, what they do doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you're an animal. And in yeah. fact, you're literally an animal. There was a law that came out where somebody, I'm trying to remember who it was, somebody realized that uh, the law treats people like humans as animals, but we're not animals. But if they put it in the law that way, that they can treat us like animals. Oh, I just read an article. It was wild. Who, who the hell was it? Oh. Yeah, that, that, that using the verbiage animals, like man as being an animal, then you put him in the same class as an animal. Um... And you could treat him, you know, sub subhumanly. Uh, yeah, it's disgusting. It is disgusting, and I'm trying to figure out the. Uh, it was it's very interesting uh, article. In the, the, who was it? It was God. The guy. The guy's like a. He was actually on CBS. This guy, and they got him as a nut because he was a liberty person. He's a sovereign citizen. When they were demonizing the sovereign citizen movement, where they showed that video of the the two crazy guys, and they were crazy. They happen to be sovereign citizens. They gave the cops a little bit of a hard time. They showed them their sovereign paperwork. It was like this document. They pulled out this like 26 inch like like you know look like the Declaration of Independence that they were sovereign citizens, yeah. you know, and uh, and they were like wanted to lock them up and they just they just unloaded on them with AK-47s and killed the cops, and they dash cam caught it and they put it all over the news. That see that they show you violence, blood and death, and against cops and. That they show you, but when the reverse happens, they don't show you. When people are down at Wall Street protesting, they don't show you. It's crazy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Hmm. You know? Really ridiculous, is. man. The things that like are going on in this world, and then people just don't don't see it. And that's what angers me, Howard. Yeah. Is how could your everyday, average, normal citizen not see uh, what's going on in society? I mean, look around, you know? Look around. I mean, you walk, you go downtown, for instance, you know, you see these people just walking around with, like, their head in the clouds. Yeah. I know. It's very, it's very weird. But again, you know, it goes back to compartmentalization. And it's such good mind control, because I was under it, you know. I came out of it, and, you know, it's just unbelievable, because I think really what, it, I mean, I have to really give Aaron Russo the credit for waking me up. He was, you know, I saw Freedom to Fascism. And I was like, wait a minute, that, this doesn't make any sense. You mean there's no actual law that says you have to pay income tax, but they'll lock you up and take, put, you know, throw, take all your assets and come into your business without a warrant and just take all your things because they suspect you of, of being, having committed a crime. And, and this has been going on for, since the beginning. So through the IRS, that's the first example of this you know, Stasi-like you know, uh, fascist Nazi activity. And now it's it's going. It's not just the IRS. Now it's the TSA, and now it's also yep. Homeland Security, and now it's also FEMA, and now it's also the National Guard. Oh, this is what scared me on the radio. I'm listening. To the National Guard are going wild. I don't know what how what if you've heard about this, but they are advertising like crazy about how the National Guard, will, you know, you can go protect your country and all this other stuff, and against against you know enemies of our of our country. And, uh, you know, uh, and we'll pay for your college, you know, that kind of shit. And it's just unbelievable. And right after that, there's an, uh, the Real ID ad on the radio. Right after that, it says, Connecticut now has a verifiable ID. So they're back-to-backing these two things. And, yeah. and it's the same money because it's always back-to-back. -back. So whoever's funding it is paying for the same time. I don't even have to research that because it's always the same two commercials, one after the other. The National Guard. No, first it's the Real ID and then it's the National Guard. <laughs> so it's probably National Guard or the federal government, you know, obviously funds. It's crazy. And, you know, people are just saying, that's a conspiracy theory, you know. What do you care if they know where you are? Well, that's a good thing, you know. I don't know. I, I, I can't, I don't trust them when they, they're so wicked and caught so many times. But we're getting off the uh, the, the case of the, the, the sex abuse of the kids. 
This has been yeah. this was wild. Ted Gunderson, uh, a former f uh, FBI agent, actually he had um, I think over 700 agents under his command in California. Uh, was one of the first to uncover this. Around the same time, Gary Webb was uncovering uh, the CIA bringing crack, crack cocaine into Los Angeles. And of course, he committed suicide uh, after going public with that information and writing a book called uh, Dark Alliance. He shot himself twice in the head in the bathtub. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was Arkansas, as we yeah. like to say. He was Arkansas, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. He was suicided. Yeah, he was suicided. So, uh, anyhow, sad, sad story. Um, but that's really where it, where it culminated from. And, and what they do is they, they get these kids, and many of them... Look at the movie Taken. Oh, there's a perfect example. You saw that? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's what they do. That's what they do. That is it. And it's not some bunch of mafia kingpins. It's the real elite, and they're, all, they're making money on it. They might even... On top of it, the person that was selling those, that was, remember in that room when they were all betting and bidding? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, come on, it's I just, that. oh my God. It is really like that, and, and the elite are the ones that get the money. Oh, it's just, it's just overwhelming, overwhelming agony sometimes. It really is. It's just unbelievable. I, I keep thinking about uh, trying to figure out ways to explain this police state to people that are, don't seem to understand it. I have a few friends that just say this is America, there's no police state, and and you wonder how how long it's going to be before uh, they uh, they just you know wake up to you know where they got to wait till they come and say come to this FEMA camp we're going to take you away. I, I I don't know. I mean police in the streets they they want to outlaw you know uh, f they have free speech zones. You can't. On 9/11, you could you had to be like freaking like two miles away from Ground Zero, and they didn't allow any of the of the first responders because they're starting to wake up and realizing what's happening to them. And the big money that they that everyone was so happy about passing and getting excludes cancer. <laughs> it just it's just laughable that people can't get this that they're just being screwed. I mean, it's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I don't know. Well, anyway, going back to this, the the, uh, the 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 we were talking about the kids. So where did um where does it where was it that um you actually started finding out about that information, Chris? Who was your f first uh, source? Ted Gunderson was the first thing I saw. Yeah, Ted Gunderson um, was a majority part, but it was when I started reading Mark Phillips and Kathy O'Brien mm -hmm. uh, when it came to Big Dick Cheney. <laughs> and uh, what went on there then I started doing more research into it and that's when I started cover uncovering uh, just so much stuff all around the world right. well why don't you expand on that a little I'd appreciate that, that'd be great yeah well it's like in Africa you know, I mean, uh, what's going on there children are just being abducted like on a mass scale and, 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 and it's not being reported anywhere and they're just disappearing and it always seems to happen when the damn United Nations are in town yeah, when they're giving their inoculation shots or they're going to do some sort of humanitarian yep. assistance. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the tie-in. I mean, that that's it. I mean, the, the United Nations, it's just unbelievable. Now Libya, uh, this this quagmire is real interesting now. Uh, so Al-Qaeda's the good guys. Let me get this right. Al-Qaeda's the good guys. We're giving them money and weapons. We have CIA on the ground. We have boots on the ground now. Uh, and uh, we're not involved in this military kinetic action.